What's going on, guys? Super quick, Duke Succulus boss guy, the Duke of Suck. This boss just got released with the Desert Treasure 2 quest. And for this guide, we're going to be bringing in our best in slot melee gear. I'm also bringing in an Arc Light, as he is going to be weak to Demon Bane weapons. You can swap this out for a Fang or a Scythe, but I'm not exactly sure what the de best uh, DPS weapon is right now. So we're just going to stick with the Arc Light. And then from there, with the inventory setup, we're going to bring in one Divine Super Combat Pot, two Super Restores, one Stamina Pot if we're going to be doing multiple kills per trip. And the rest, you just want to bring in Mantas and combo foods like Karambwans. And then we also have a BGS for our spec weapon, a Pestle and Mortar, and a Pickaxe, and then a Teleport to our house, as well as the Ring of Shadows to teleport back to the instance. If you don't have the Ring of Shadows uh, teleport unlocked, then simply bring um, some Icy Basalts to teleport back here. That's going to be the fastest way back uh, to the gate. And then from there, you just want to enter through the gates to get into the boss's instance. We're going to be dropping four food at the start of the fight to free up some inventory space. And then simply head up the steps and wait for these eyes to do their animation and then walk past them to get to the mushrooms. You want to pick two mushrooms per side. It's honestly pretty easy to dodge out on these attacks. Uh, they don't do the gazes that often and then just simply dodge out on these shadows below you or else they will damage you and stun you. And then, yeah, do the same thing for the other side. I've already seen the animations have gone off, so I can just run past them freely here. I'm going to pick two more mushrooms on this side. And then once those animations go off again, I'm going to head on over and dodge out these shadows. And from here, we're going to use the Pestle and Mordar on the mushrooms in our inventory. And then simply mine two of these salt deposits. So you want to have 12 ingredients of each. And then use it on the vent. Or the vat. Uh, we're not going to hop on over to the next one as it's almost the same time if you go to the same one. So make two potions and then head on over to the front of the boss. This is where you're going to pot up. Put on your spec web. Throw on Pity, And then use both of the potions on the boss and get off a of spec. After you spec, step underneath one of the pillars on either side. Get another spec off. And then all you have to really look out for is his stomp. Make sure you're off to the side when he's using that stomp, or else you will take quite a bit of damage. And then just keep stepping back underneath that pillar. When he does his eye, you can get another attack off, and then when he stomps, you can get another attack off. But if you just want to play safe, make sure you just stick underneath that pillar when the eye is going off, or else you will take, take uh, 90 damage. And then he's going to use his poison cloud on one of the vents. Simply head on over to the other vent, or the other pillar. And then just keep attacking him. Here he's going to do his eye. I'm going to time it so that I don't take the hit. Uh, but like I said, if you want to just play safe, stay underneath the pillar. And then once he gets past half HP, he's now going to use two smoke things under the vents. Doesn't really change things up as you're going to be over at the other pillar. And then just keep DPSing him down and making sure that you're not stepping underneath that cloud when he stomps. I played it safe there just because I didn't know whether or not I had um, the attack animation in time. And then when you get low, just combo eat. And then continue on with the fight. At this part, you can get an attack in if you want. And then that's all you have to know for this boss. Pick up the loot and then head back over to the mushrooms really quick. You're going to use a stamina pot here as you will run out of energy um, if you don't. And you can see here, you can get all the way over to the mushroom without these procking if you do it uh, fast enough. Pick two mushrooms and then just continue on with the next fight. That's all you have to know for this boss. Pretty easy mechanics. If you guys learn any other mechanics or any new strategies or um, increase your DPS with a specific weapon, make sure to leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I love you guys. Good luck on those loots.